Dr. Sarah Lindholm, Captain John Hawks Hawkins, and Nia Kamau, standing on the deck of the Deep Explorer, looking out at the vast expanse of the ocean, anticipation evident in their expressions as the sun sets behind them. Let's the story begin. The daybreak ushered in a flurry of activity aboard the Deep Explorer. Dr. Sarah Lindholm watched as her team hustled around, securing equipment for their expedition. As the sun rose, its rays gleamed off the ocean surface. The ship began its journey towards the Mariana Trench. Sarah was joined by Captain John Hawk Hawkins, a grizzled sea veteran, and Nia Kamau, an eager anthropologist. Their shared gaze told a story of anticipation for the journey ahead, a deep sea adventure into the unknown. The ship's horn roared, and they set sail from the bustling harbor, leaving behind the familiar shores. The crowd waved a final goodbye, their figures becoming small dots on the horizon as the deep explorer ventured into the open sea. Their destination, the Mariana Trench, was a world within a world, an unexplored abyss holding untold mysteries. As land disappeared, Sarah, Hawk, and Nia, among the crew, steeled themselves for the voyage. Each knew that this journey was more than just scientific endeavor. It was an expedition that would challenge their perception of life and unravel the Earth's mysteries. The arrival above the Mariana Trench brought a shift in the atmosphere on board the Deep Explorer. Sarah, Hawk, and Nia felt a mix of excitement and apprehension. The first dive was upon them, a marvel of engineering. Their submersible was designed to withstand extreme pressures, waiting to transport them into the heart of the abyss. The crew moved with practiced precision, carrying out last-minute checks. The humming of the ship's machinery was backdrop to their thoughts. Sarah stared at the digital readouts on the control panel, her pulse mirroring the rhythm of the waves outside. Finally, it was time. With a jolt, they began their descent. Sunlight was quickly replaced by a cloak of darkness, illuminated only by the submersible's lights. The sight outside was otherworldly. Bioluminescent creatures flickered in and out of view. The sight of an unknown creature made Sarah's heart race their first discovery. They were strangers in this world, yet they felt a connection. The first dive ended with the setting sun painting the sky in vivid colors. As they resurfaced, their minds remained trapped in the deep sea's beauty. Unbeknownst to them, their greatest discovery still lay ahead in the unseen depths of the Mariana Trench. The following days on the Deep Explorer were filled with anticipation and trepidation. Sarah, Hawk, and Nia spent countless hours studying the data and footage collected from their first dive. Amidst this work, a breakthrough happened a successful attempt at rudimentary communication with the underwater beings. Using a combination of light signals and aquatic sound patterns, they managed to establish a primitive but effective exchange. The ship's control room buzzed with excitement. Sarah could hardly believe it. The atmosphere on board was charged. Each communication attempt was an adrenaline rush, a dance of light and sound that broke barriers between species. But with this excitement came a deeper realization they were not alone in this world. Life thrived in the most unexpected places, and they had a responsibility towards it. Amid the wonder and fascination, they continued their work. Dives were conducted, samples collected, observations documented. Yet the significance of the first contact was not lost on them. They were not merely explorers. Now they were ambassadors in an alien world establishing the first lines of communication in the hope of mutual understanding. Little did they know how this newfound relationship would be tested in the face of an impending disaster. Life on the Deep Explorer took a turn as the team discovered signs of an impending ecological disaster that could affect the underwater civilization. In the ship's control room, team members gathered, their faces reflecting the gravity of the situation. With this discovery, their expedition took on a new and more somber dimension. Sarah, Hawk, and Nia debated over their course of action. 
They held in their hands a moral dilemma should they expose this ancient intelligent marine species to the world potentially inviting exploitation or keep their discovery a secret, thus protecting the underwater civilization but risking its survival. The discussions ran long into the night. They wrestled with the ethical implications of their decisions. Amidst the heated debates and worried glances, they remained committed to one fact they had a responsibility towards this newly discovered life form. Eventually, they decided to uphold principle of non-interference. They chose to keep their discovery a secret, believing that the potential harm of exposure outweighed the benefits. But the decision didn't settle the heavy atmosphere on board. They were scientists, explorers, but now they found themselves as guardians, shouldering the weight of an ancient civilization's fate. In the end, they returned to the trench, working tirelessly to mitigate the disaster. As they navigated through the bioluminescent structures and beings, they understood the magnitude of their mission. They were no longer merely explorers. They were protectors of life, standing at the crossroads of scientific discovery and ethical responsibility. As the deep explorers surfaced after weeks submerged, the crew felt an immense sense of relief mixed with melancholy. They had successfully mitigated the imminent disaster, protecting the underwater civilization, but the return to the surface world felt like emerging from a dream. The vibrant, luminescent city, deep in the Mariana Trench. Now a memory locked away in the abyss. The team looked out onto the familiar sight of land. Sarah, Hawk, and Nia, their faces weary yet triumphant couldn't help but be transformed by their experience. They had journeyed into the unknown, discovered a world unlike any known to humanity, and grappled with the immense responsibility of safeguarding that world. The ship anchored in the quiet harbor under the cover of darkness. The bright city lights a stark contrast to the natural luminescence of their underwater adventure. As they set foot on solid ground, they carried with them an unforgettable experience, a secret too significant to be revealed. The world they returned to was the same, but they were different. They were keepers of a secret, custodians of an unseen civilization, their perspectives forever broadened by their journey into the depths. They had embarked as explorers, but returned as guardians, their lives forever bound by the experience of a world that lived and thrived deep in the unseen depths of the Mariana Trench.